okay guys in this video we are going to discuss the problems based on the concept of uh, intercept see in this problem in this problem in this problem the area of triangle formed by the coordinate axis and the line 4x plus 5 into y is equals to 12 right so here what is that meaning the triangle formed by the coordinate axis and the line here this one is that given line right now this problem we can do in the two methods direct shortcut method or traditional method so here this one is that x axis origin and this one is the y axis let it be this point is a and this point is b right here this line is that 4x plus 5 into y is equals to 20 now traditional method is you convert this one in the intercept form you divided with the 20 this one you divided with the 20 intercept form is that what x by a plus y by b is equals to 1 so this one is becomes that x by 5 plus y by 4 is equals to y by 4 is equals to 1 so here x intercept is that 5 and the y intercept is the 4 clearly it is the right angle triangle therefore area of triangle area of triangle OAB OAB is equals to half into base into height so that we can write that uh, modulus of A into B so modulus of A into B means that is that A is that x intercept and B is the y intercept 1 by 2 into modulus of 5 into 4 that value will be equals to 10 square units so your answer will be 10 square units right so direct shortcut formula is what so if the given equation in this form you can apply this formula is only suppose the given equation is a ax plus by plus c is equals to 0 ax plus by plus c is equals to 0 so look at this one or you can use the direct formula area of the triangle area of triangle formed by the line area of the triangle formed by the line formed by the line ax plus by plus c is equals to 0 ax plus by plus c is equals to 0 with the coordinate axis with the coordinate with the coordinate axis axis is a, that formula will be c square by 2 into modulus of a into b now in this one a and b are that x coefficient and y coefficient c is that constant right now in this given problem the line equation is that uh, ax plus by plus c therefore for time saving purpose you can write uh, without this uh, explanation directly you can write that area of a triangle is equals to area of triangle is equals to 2 c square is nothing but what minus 20 whole square minus 20 whole square whole divided by 2 into modulus of a b is that 4 into 5 so this value is equals to 400 this value will be equals to 400 whole divided by this value will be nothing but 40 so by cancel that 40 and 40 this value will be equals to 10 square units 
so directly you can find the area of the triangle by using the formula c square by 2 into modulus of ab so this is the one direct formula this is the direct formula so otherwise if you forgot this one so when any line is that form a triangle with coordinate axis you convert into that intercept form what is the intercept form x by a plus y by b is equals to 1 you reduce that equation in the form after you applying 1 by 2 into modulus of uh, product of x intercept and y intercept so you will be get the answer here in this one also 10 here also 10 is the answer okay now we'll see the next question see the next problem is a variable line x by a plus y by b is equals to 1 so clearly this one is that in the intercept form clearly this equation is a in intercept form x by a plus y by b is equals to 1 is such that a plus b is equals to 10 that means a sum of the x intercept and y intercept is 10 the locus of midpoint of portion of the intercepted between the axis see look at this one here first of all you draw that figure that is that intercept form so this one is that x axis origin and the y axis so here let it be this line is that this is nothing but x by a plus y by b is equals to 1 when this line is x by a plus y by b is equals to 1 means so here that uh, x intercept is the small a therefore this point is that a comma 0 y intercept is a b and this point is capital b is equals to 0 comma b right now that given condition is that what a plus b is equals to a plus b is equals to 10 is that given one right so here let we take that p is equals to p is equals to h comma k is that a midpoint of a b so here that midpoint of let the p is equals to h comma k is the midpoint of a b therefore h comma k is equals to you know that a point coordinates and b point coordinates midpoint of a b will be nothing but what this value will be nothing but a by 2 comma b by 2 a by 2 comma b by 2 is that midpoint so from this one by equating this point will be equals to this one so a is equals to this value is that a 2 h comma b is equals to 2 into k you got it that a value and b value both you substitute in this uh, above equation both you substitute in the above equation therefore from equation 1 from equation 1 so what do you say that value 2 into h plus 2 into k is equals to 10 so here is the 2 is the common factor on both sides that means you divided this one with the 2 h plus k is equals to 5 so this one is the simplified value according to that given condition now the next you have to find the locus of midpoint of the portion of the line intercepted between the x-axis means this is the portion of the line between the axis now we should be find the locus of p therefore locus of p therefore you will be find that locus of uh, p locus of p is a uh, replace h by x and k by y because of h is the x coordinate and k is the y coordinate x plus y is equals to 5 is the answer x plus y is equals to 5 is the answer so your answer will be x plus y is equals to 5 what is the correct option third option is the correct answer what is the correct answer third option is the correct answer so this one is the one more question so right next we will see that another question say in this problem area of the triangle formed by the axis and the line cos h alpha minus sin h alpha into x 
plus cos h alpha plus sin h alpha into y is equals to 2. So this one is in the form of a x plus a b y is equals to some constant. By getting the left hand side minus 2 is equals to 0. So clearly it is in the form of a x plus b y plus c is equals to 0. Already the same modal problem we did that very first question. So directly you can do this one. Actually what is that figure of this problem? So the given line is the form a triangle with the coordinate axis. This is that x axis origin this one is that y axis. Let it be this point is a and this point is b. Now you have to find that area of the triangle OAB. Therefore area of area of triangle OAB area of triangle OAB what I said that formula c square by c square by 2 into modulus of AB. So this is the direct formula. But by substitute that C value and A value B value this one is that minus 2 whole square whole divided by whole divided by 2 into modulus of cos h alpha minus sin h alpha sin h alpha into and next one is the cos h alpha plus sin h alpha sin h alpha you know this is in the form of a plus b into a minus b so this one will be equals to 4 whole divided by 4 whole divided by 2 into 2 into cos cos h square alpha minus sin h square alpha sin h square alpha we know in trigonometry cos h square alpha minus sin h square alpha is equals to 1 here the 2 will be goes in the 2 times so your answer will be 2 whole divided by 1 that is equals to 2 square units so your answer will be 2 square units this is the correct answer so your right answer is that what third option is the correct answer right now we will see the next question see the next question a straight line meets the coordinate axis at a and b so that the centroid of triangle oab is 1 comma 2 then equation of the line ab is say if any line is the meets the coordinate axis obviously it makes that intercepts so this one is that x intercept sorry x axis and this is that y axis so here is that say a straight line meets the coordinate axis at a and b means the diagram will be this one right so next one is that centroid of the triangle centroid of this triangle is a 1 comma 2 so let it be the straight line is that you take that x by a plus y by b is equals to 1. If the straight line is this one, then a point coordinates will be a comma 0 and b point coordinates will be 0 comma b and this one is that 0 comma 0. Right? If the centroid of triangle is that 1 comma 2, you have to find the equation of a b. What we consider that equation of a b? x by a plus y by b is equals to 1. That means in this equation a and b are the unknown values. If you find both the values, you can get the required equation. So here is that, let the equation is that x by a plus sub, x by a plus sub, y by b is equals to, y by b is equals to 1. From this figure you can write that centroid is equals to, centroid is equals to, centroid is equals to centroid of a centroid of triangle OAB is equals to how much is what is that given point 1 comma 2 therefore now actually if we know the vertices of triangle what is the centroid sum of the x coordinates by 3 comma sum of the y coordinates by 3 
that is a by 3 comma b by 3 is equals to 1 comma 2 if these two points are equal the corresponding coordinates are also equal that implies a by 3 is equals to 1 and b by 3 is equals to 2 b by 3 is equals to 2 from this you can write that a is equals to what a is equals to 3 and b is equals to 6 now substitute both values sir, in that equation of AB. Therefore, required equation. Therefore, required equation. Required equation is a, what is that? X by A, that is that a 3 plus Y by B is equals to 6 is equals to 1. By taking the LCM, 6 is the LCM, that becomes that. 2 into x plus y is equals to 6. So your answer will be 2x plus y is equals to 6. This one is the correct answer. So what is the correct option? 2x plus y is equals to 6. Second option is the correct answer. What is the correct answer? Second option is the correct answer. Right? So this one is the solution of this problem. Now we will see the next question. See, this is the very very most important question. The number of lines that are parallel to 2x plus 6y minus 7 is equals to 0 and have an intercept 10 between the coordinate axis. That means first you draw the figure. This one is the coordinate axis. This is the x axis. This is the x axis. This one is that origin. This is the y axis. Now, here is that. This one is the line between the coordinate axis. Let it be this one is that AB. This line is that parallel to this one. You know, parallel lines are differ only in their constant. So, what is equation of therefore, equation of therefore, equation of any line equation of any line parallel to parallel to 2x plus 6 into y minus 7 is equals to 0 is a this one is that a 2x plus 6 into y plus k is equals to 0 k is equals to 0. This is the equation of AB. Right? Then how can we find that A point coordinates and B point coordinates? If you write that Y is equals to 0, X value will be minus K by 2 comma 0. Right? And next, if you write that Y is equals to X is equals to 0, Y is equals to minus K by 6. So this one is 0 comma minus k by 6. Now, in the given question, how an intercept 10 units between the axis? That means, therefore, AB is equals to 10. AB is equals to how much? 10 is that given. That means, from this one, you can write that AB square is equals to 100. AB square is equals to 100. So, what is that AB square value? You know that a, a point coordinates and B point coordinates. This value is that K square by 4 plus and K square by 36 is equals to 100. 36 is equals to 100. Now you simplify this value. So what is the LCM of this value 36? That means 9 into K square 9 into K square plus k square by 36 is equals to 36 into this value is that 100. So that implies 10 into k square. 10 into k square is equals to 36 into this value is that 100. So divided with the 10 goes that 10 will be cancelled. That implies you can write that you can write that k is equals to plus or minus 6 into root 5. So how many k values you got? 2 k values are there. One is that plus 6 into root 5. 
and the other one is that 16 minus 6 into root 5 so obviously how many number of the lines parallel to that given equation and having that intercept of length 10 units between the coordinate axis 2 lines therefore the number of straight lines is equals to 2 therefore number of number of straight lines number of straight lines number of straight lines is equals to 2 so your correct option is that what second option is the correct answer so your correct answer is that second option is the correct answer right this one is the solution of this problem now we'll see the next question okay see this problem a straight line passing through 3 comma 4 forms a triangle of area 24 square units with the coordinate axis then its equation is now here this problem we can do in the two methods one is that verification method verification means now you substitute that the required line is that passes through 3 comma 4 so which equation is satisfied by this point so those that is the if only one is the satisfying that is the correct answer more than one options are satisfying so those options you take by by using that area of the triangle with coordinate axis formula you find which equation is gives that area of triangle is 24 so in those you can find the correct answer that is the one method so the next method is nothing but here is that this one is that coordinates axis coordinate axis this is that x axis this one is that x axis y axis origin let it be here this line is that passes through the point 3 comma 4 3 comma 4 so let it be here a is equals to small a comma 0 and this one is b is equals to 0 comma b 0 comma b let it be a b equation as that a b equation as a b equation as x by a plus y by b is equals to 1 y by b is equals to 1 right so this one is that passes through which point the first condition is 3 comma 4 so here is let it be equation 1 if 1 passes through 3 comma 4 1 passes through 1 passes through 3 comma 4 3 comma 4 that means what is it satisfy or not satisfy therefore 3 by a plus 3 by a plus 4 by b is equals to 1 4 by b is equals to 1 now this is that one condition and next one is that area of the triangle formed by that this equation 1 with coordinate axis how much is given 24 so 1 by 2 into modulus of a b is equals to 1 by 2 into modulus of a b is equals to 24 that implies this one we can write that a b is equals to 48 actually we have to write that plus or minus but here i am taking that only the positive sign now we have that uh, two results are there in terms of a and b so this is the second result and this is the next result see here is that from this one you write that either a value or b value if b is equals to 48 you write in this one that implies from 1 2 comma 3 from 2 comma 3 from 2 comma 3 from 2 comma 3 you write that b is equals to 48 by a this value is that a 3 by a plus a b is equals to 48 by a so that is that 4 into a by 48 is equals to 1 now you take that lcm what is that lcm 48 into a then it becomes that 48 into a means so here is that 
that this goes the 12 times that means 12 into a that means 36 plus a square is equals to 12 into a is that simplified value that implies you can write that a square minus 12 into a plus 36 is equals to 0 now from this one you can write that this one we can write that a minus 6 whole square is equals to 0 therefore a is equals to 6 so you have that x intercept a is equals to 6 by substituting this value in equation 3 and b is equals to what is that value 8 b is equals to how much 8 so the product is 8 6 are 48 so this one is that uh, satisfied. Therefore, you substitute both values in that equation 1. Therefore, required equation. Therefore, required equation is a. Required equation is a. X by 6 plus a, y by 8 is equals to 1. What is the LCM of 6 and 8? Here you do the simplification. What is the LCM of 6, 8? So this one is that 2, 3 are 2, 4 are 24. So LCM is the 24. LCM is 24. So here is the LCM 24. That means uh, 4 into x plus 3 into y is equals to 1. By cross multiplying, your answer will be 4x plus 3y is equals to 4x plus 3y is equals to 24. So what is the correct answer? Your correct answer is that first option is the correct answer. Your correct answer is the 4x plus 3y minus 24 is equals to 0. So your correct answer is that first option. So this one is the 4x plus 3y. So this one is the solution. So your right answer is that first option is the correct answer. Okay. Now we will see the next question. See, the line perpendicular to 5x minus uh, y is equals to 1 and which uh, forms a triangle of area of 5 square units with the coordinate axis is. Uh. So first of all, you write that what is that line perpendicular to the given equation. See, we know that any line perpendicular to ax plus by plus c is equals to 0 is a bx minus ay plus k is equals to 0. So here I am writing that we know that any line we know that any line perpendicular perpendicular to ax plus by by plus c is equals to 0 is a what is that equation bx minus a y plus k is equals to 0 right by using this formula now you do this problem that is therefore equation of a, therefore equation of equation of any line equation of any line perpendicular to perpendicular to 5x minus y minus 1 is equals to 0 is from that above formula bx minus ay plus k that is that b is that minus 1 so minus x minus 5 into y plus k is equals to 0 k is equals to 0 now here k is that unknown value to find this k value this perpendicular line form a triangle of area of 5 square units that means uh, here i am draw that figure here this perpendicular line form a triangle of area 5 units this is that perpendicular line minus uh, x minus 5 into y plus uh, k is equals to 0 plus uh, k is equals to 0 right so we know that 
what is that formula to find the area of the triangle formed by the line ax plus by plus c is equals to 0 c square by 2 into ab therefore c square means uh, k square by 2 into modulus of a into b, mi b minus 1 into minus 5 minus 5 is equals to 5 square units this one is given here is that by simplifying k square is equals to k square is equals to this one is that at 10 so 10 into 5 is that 50 so this one we can write that k is equals to plus or minus 5 into root 2 k is equals to plus or minus 5 into root 2 so this one is that k value by substitute this k value in this uh, equation therefore the required equation therefore the required equation the required equation is uh, minus uh, x uh, minus 5 into y plus or minus uh, 5 into root 2 is equals to 0 but here x coefficient is the negative generally so x coefficient will be positive so that means uh, to eliminate that negative sign you multiply this one with the minus again the constant will be plus or minus so that implies that implies that answer will be x plus 5 into y plus or minus 5 into root 2 is equals to 0 so this is the solution of that given problem right what is the correct answer x plus 5 into y plus or minus 5 root 2 so your right option is that first option is the right answer first option is the right answer okay so this one is the solution of this problem okay right now we will see the next question see the next question is the equation of a the line which cuts off intercepts in the ratio 2 is to 3 which passes through the point 4 comma minus 3 what is the meaning of 2 is to 3 the intercepts are in the ratio that means a is to b is equals to a is to b is equals to 2 is to 3 right the line will be passes through the point let it be that line is nothing but this ratio you take as that m is to n m is to n now that given point is that x1 comma y1 is equals to 4 comma minus 3 so already in that uh, previous video i explained that i explained that formula when the intercepts are in the ratio m is to n and the line is a uh, passes through the point uh, 4 comma minus 3 so here is that this one is that line this intercepts are in the ratio and this line is that passes through 4 comma minus 3 then what do you say this line equation what do you say this line equation so already i told you this one so here is that here is that x minus sub the formula will be x minus sub therefore equation ab is a equation of ab we should find here that equation of ab ab equation is that x minus x1 by x minus x1 by m plus y minus y1 by n is equals to 0 this one is that formula by using this formula what is that required equation now substitute that m and n values and the point x1 comma y1 that implies x minus 4 whole divided by m is that a 2 plus y minus y1 is that y plus a 3 whole divided by n is that a 3 is equals to 0 by taking that LCM this one will becomes that 3 into x minus 4 3 into x minus 4 plus 2 into y plus 3 y plus 3 is equals to 0 
by simplifying this value you will be get that 3x plus 2 into y here is minus 12 plus 6 that is that minus 6 is equals to 0 but the given options are in that intercept form actually directly here you can write from this one also so from this one you can write the directly x by 2 x by 2 plus y by 3 here is that minus 2 plus 1 is that minus 1 so that is equals to 1 so this one is that uh, x by 2 plus y by 3 is equals to 1 this is the required answer so otherwise to you can write by simplifying this one by dividing with the 6 it becomes that x by 2 plus uh, x by 2 plus y by 3 is equals to 1 so this is the required equation so either directly from this equation from this equation or by simplifying you can write this one also this is the solution of this one what is the correct option option a is the correct answer option a is the first option is the correct answer okay so this is the solution of this problem right now we'll see the next question say the straight line passing through the point 3 comma minus 4 and cutting the intercepts equal but opposite signs from the two axes that means what here that given condition is now the straight line this is that y axis and this is the x axis right y axis and x axis this one is the line let it be this line is that x by a plus y by b is equals to 1 right now here that given condition is intercepts are equal but opposite sign here this is that x intercept a and y intercept is b that means uh, a plus b is equals to a plus b is equals to 0 right so what is the meaning of this one so here equal intercepts and uh, opposite sign means uh, a is equals to minus b this is the given condition from this you can write that a plus b is equals to 0 already if the line is uh, satisfy this condition and uh, passing through a given point uh, then i told you that formula x minus y is equals to we know that the required equation we know that the required equation x minus y is equals to x1 minus y1 so already i said this formula okay by using this formula what is that x1 comma y1 that is the given point x1 comma y1 is equals to that is 3 comma minus 4 3 comma minus 4 now substitute in this one therefore the required equation therefore the required equation required equation is a x minus y is equals to x minus y is equals to x1 minus y1 that means a uh, 3 minus of minus 4 that is equals to 7 that implies x minus y is equals to x minus y is equals to 7 this one is the solution so what is that correct option option 1 is the correct answer x minus y is equals to 7 is the correct answer right so this is the solution of this problem now we'll see the next question see in this problem a straight line passes through the point 1 comma 1 and the portion of the line intercepted between the coordinate axis that means uh, the diagram will be the diagram will be here this one is that xy plane so here the intercept between the axis means that is that ab right this is the y axis this one is that x axis right so here what is that the portion of the line intercepted between the coordinate axis that is ab is a divided at the point is a divided at the point what is that point 1 comma 
so here this point you take as that 1 comma 1 in the ratio 3 is to 4 in the ratio 3 is to 4 this one is that 3 is to 4 that means uh, already I told you that one formula what is that formula so this point has this point is that x1 comma y1 so already I given that formula so a b equation equation of a b equation of a b will be m into x by x1 plus l into y by y1 is equals to l plus m what is this one this is that the portion of the line segment between the axis is a divided by the point x1 comma y1 in the ratio l is to m here that l is to m is equals to l is to m is equals to 3 is to 4 the point x1 comma y1 is equals to x1 comma y1 is equals to that point is 1 comma 1 right now substitute all these values in this one m is equals to 4 therefore the required equation 4 into x by x1 is that 1 l is that 3 3 into y by y1 is equals to 1 is equals to l plus m is equals to 3 plus 4 3 plus 4 so this is the required equation that implies that implies 4x plus 3 into y is equals to 7 so what is the correct option option 2 is the correct answer option 2 is the correct answer 4x plus 3y is equals to 7 this is the very very important question option 2 is the correct answer okay now we'll see the next question say a line makes the intercepts whose sum is 9 and the product is 20. If the x intercept is greater, that means uh, comparing that x and y intercepts, x intercept, x intercepts must be greater. This problem we can do in the two methods. One method is by verification. Now first condition is that what? Here is that sum of the intercepts is 9. That means a plus b is equals to 9. And the product of the intercepts is 20. Product of intercepts is 20. That means uh, first of all what is the equation of the line in the intercept form? Uh, x by a plus y by b is equals to 1. That equation will be this one. x by a plus y by b is equals to y by b is equals to 1. y by b is equals to 1. Right? So this one is that xy plane. This one is that xy plane. Let it be this one is that ab. Right? This one is that ab. Now what is that given condition? Sum of the intercepts. x intercept a, y intercept b. That means given that a plus b is equals to 9. And the product of the intercepts is that what? Let it be 1. A into B is equals to this value is that 20. Let it be this one as that equation 2. Right? So what I am saying this problem solution this one we can do in the two methods. So in that exam point object 2 point of view. So this problem is that by verification method is the simple technique. Otherwise so concept wise how can we do this problem? Now here we have the two relations are there between A and B. From this one, either second or first one, you take one value. B is equals to 9 minus A. Say from 1 comma 2. From 1 comma 2. From 1 comma 2. That means uh, A into, what is that B value? 9 minus A. 9 minus A is equals to 20. Now you simplify this value. 9 into a minus a square both you can write in the right side so a square minus 9 into a plus 20 plus 20 is equals to 0 ok now by doing these factors this one will becomes that 
a minus of 5 into a minus of 4 a minus 4 is equals to 0 that implies a is equals to 5 or 4 a is equals to 5 or 4 now x intercept the possible values are the 2 here you see this one if a is equals to 5 if a is equals to 5 from the second equation b is equals to 4 b is equals to 4 similarly if a is equals to 4 b is equals to 5 now what is that given condition x intercept is a greater what is that given condition here in this one x intercept is a greater that means uh, a is greater than b so by using that uh, condition in both of these two cases uh, a is greater than b in which case in that first case so here therefore you substitute that a is equals to 5 and b is equals to 4 in that equation of the line so therefore the required equation therefore the required equation therefore the required equation of of the line required equation of the line is a what is that so x by 5 x by 5 plus a y by 4 is equals to 1 now by taking the lcm this one is that of 4x plus 5 into y is equals to 20. So your right answer is that what? Option 1 is the correct answer. What is the correct answer? Uh, uh, first option is the correct answer. Okay. So thank you for watching this video. So please uh, all of you like, share and uh, subscribe this channel. If you have that any doubts uh, in this uh, problems, you can chart. In, you can chart in the chart box okay or in the comments right